Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Davo from Archon Esports bringing you another 1v1 StarCraft 2 cast. Uh, today it is, uh, well it's obviously a 1v1, I've just said it, on Shakuras Plateau, awesome. In the top left hand corner we have Fluffy Hippo and apparently we have a little bit of lag as well. And we have XHO in the top right hand corner who is our Red Zerg. Awesome. Uh, XHO, I have actually cast one of his games before. He has been sending me a few of these. Uh, he is a Diamond Zerg player, but the important part is he is fighting a Masters Terran player. Awesome. Um, I did a little bit of research for Fluffy Hippo. I couldn't find anything, um, or at least anything incredibly interesting. So, I mean, all that can be said at the moment is he is a Blue Terran. He is in the top left of Shakura's Plateau, and he is in this cast. Awesome. Um, it does look like XHO will be scouting in several directions, to be honest. Well, probably probably the right one to begin with. Um, yep, it does look like XHO will be going in the correct direction, maybe touching a watchtower as he goes as well. Yes, he does. Excellent. Um, he might be going for the cross position scout first, which he is, but it does not matter as his overlord up top is probably going to see what is going on pretty soon. We do have Fluffy Hippo also. Um, <laughs> fluffy, Fluffy Hippo. We do have Fluffy Hippo <laughs> uh, blocking off the top of his ramp just to make sure that no um, crazy uh, ling aggression like a six pull or anything like that happens from XHO. But because we are privileged and we have the bird's eye perspective, we know that's not happening anyway. Excellent. It does look like uh, XHO now is going to go and expand. Uh, a fairly standard Zerg timing to expand as well. Um, just so they can get their, ma their macro on the way. They get lots and lots of units and crush their opponents. And we do have him stealing a gas of Fluffy Hippo as well. And that will restrict him if Fluffy Hippo wants to go for any tech play like Banshees for example. Or at least early in the game it will. Anyway, now we do have a rather curious uh, command center coming up here. So it does look like our Terran is going to be expanding as well. Um, down into obviously the natural expansion position. Um, I mean, I did say that I did say that obviously Fluffy Hippo was blocking in, but he hasn't blocked in completely. Um, so I mean, if there was any Ling aggression at this point in time, it would be absolutely. Well, it would it would be really really bad news for uh, Fluffy Hippo. <laughs> Sorry, her name is excellent, Fluffy Hippo. Amazing. There is no such thing. I don't suppose. I'm not actually sure how much hair hippos have, but I'm just I'm going to go ahead and presume that it, they probably don't have that much hair. Um, excellent. So we do have more Marines coming out here for Fluffy Hippo. So it does look like he'll be able to hold his own against any aggression that does come his way, but there doesn't seem to be much aggression at all from XHO, uh, who does have his spawning pool up at the moment, but um, is just using it to get his queen at the moment and drone up a little bit as well. But of course you don't need the spawning pool to do that. Instead XHO is just droning up. And it looks like a very standard opener on on to a really cool game. Uh, well I hope it's a really cool game anyway. Um, okay, and we do have these two marines three even marines attacking this um, extractor and it does look like it's going to get taken down pretty quickly. Unfortunately extractors can't put up much of a fight against men with guns and we do have the expansion landing here for Fluffy Hippo and being turned into an orbital command almost immediately. Now what some Terrans do like to do against Zerg is actually build some really nice heavy structures on top of their ramp like factories and barracks and stuff like that um, and basically that can that can mess up people if they want to do a Zergling uh, Baneling play even. Uh, so that does look like what is going on in Fluffy Hippo's base at the moment. We do have the speed upgrade from XHO and the Zergling, uh, Zergling upgrade. Yep, the Zergling upgrade, aka XHO, is getting Zerglings because surely having no Zerglings to having some Zerglings is an upgrade in itself. My god, I am not on fire today. I am... I'm, I'm feeling about as hot as a fridge in my casting abilities today, which is not very hot at all. Um, but we do have Fluffy Hippo expanding as well to the bottom left hand corner, um, which is fairly surprising actually. Um, Terrans don't usually take a third expansion this early, um, so it does look like Fluffy Hippo is actually doing this obviously as a hidden third. And I wonder if XHO will find it, basically. Um, we do have some lings coming up the ramp here, seeing what is going on. He is going to see Fluffy Hippo's expansion, but if these lings aren't careful, they will get taken out. 
by the several henchmen at the top of the ramp with machine guns. Awesome. And we do have a link scout scouting up here as well. Um, the question is now, will XHO scout up this ramp here and actually see that Fluffy Hippo is making an expansion up here as well? Um, that is the important question. Um, XHO does have fairly good map control. He knows pretty much what is what is going on with the map. Um, obviously, one of the main advantages with Zerg is that they have very, very good kind of abilities to scout the map really nicely. Uh, Links, of course, are so fast you can just tell them to go somewhere, just stay there for a bit. And they're so cheap as well. I mean, you get two links to an egg, which is essentially 25 minerals. So... It's, it's like free scouting, and then you've got your overlords as well, which in the early game make really, really good scouts indeed. Um, XHO also have having both of the watchtowers, so he'll definitely know if something comes his way, but unfortunately he won't definitely know. He won't definitely know about this expansion um, just yet. See, he does not actually know about this expansion at all, unfortunately. Um, and it is now a planetary fortress as well, so it might take a little bit for XHO to break this too, because planetary fortresses are indeed very good against a plethora of Zerg units, uh, especially your Zerglings and Hydralisks and stuff like that. Um, now we do have what seems to be a rather small move out from XHO. He is also getting his um, weapons and armor research up as well. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be attacking before they finish, um, but I mean that's really his decision. And we do have one armor upgrade coming for our terror player, and Stim is just finishing now. Um, and of course, Stim can do a hell of a lot of damage, especially against Zerglings. Um, it really, it really can decrease the usefulness of Zerglings in the mid and sh uh, uh, mid game and early game quite rapidly. XHO is taking his third expansion as well, as he has essentially been undisturbed at this up to this point. Um, and these links here may be mutated into banelings sometime soon, as the baneling nest is in fact finished. It does look like XHO perhaps might go for some baneling play, like a baneling bust or something like that. Um, and we do have the third base for XHO becoming uh, saturated now and looking good and definitely definitely getting some spine crawlers up as well just to prevent any drop play from happening in his face um, which is also which is obviously a very very good idea as well but this expansion up here at the moment might give Fluffy Hippo the edge in the long run um, and I say this mainly because a Terran on three base is a very dangerous thing indeed it just needs to be seen if he can actually utilize his newfound macro properly um, in the meantime we do have XHO running back a little bit here it looks like he actually may have just tried to go up the ramp a little bit have a bit of a poke some of these Zerglings have uh, sustained some damage Okay, and we do have more links streaming across the map here from XHO, and his upgrades are about to finish, so, I mean, if he's going to strike, now would be a good time to strike, as his upgrades have finished, and I believe, oh, the Terran has actually got weapons one as well, I didn't see that in the production tab, useless me, gah, um, Okay, so we do have our Zerg player macroing up very nicely indeed. His layer is up also, which will obviously let him go into high attacks. And he is getting straight in there and going for the pathogen glands, which really, really helps for uh, Infestor play. Because obviously it means they can come straight out of the egg and they can do all sorts of damage to, a, to a many, many units. Of course, the, pla the pathogen glands are really, really good actually against... Um, Terran, especially if you have what I call a uh, stim happy Terran, where they will essentially stim their marines to the brink of death. Uh, because that way, well, I mean, if you put a fungal growth on a on a group of marines that have essentially been stimmed to death, then they're all going to die very, very quickly. And that is something that needs to be um, remembered. Also, it does look like Fluffy Hippo is actually going to be going for some drop play here, as he does have a large amount of marines. He's either... He's either anticipating mutalisks to be popping out, which, as the viewing audience and myself know, uh, they very well may be, because we do have a spire on the way. Um, but it does otherwise look like he is perhaps going for drops, and we do have a big, big Zergling push coming here. Actually, maybe just going to go destroy these um, marines here. I mean, if XHO scouted up here as well, he might be able to bring up some more stuff and actually try and kill off this expansion but as I said earlier planetary fortresses are in fact very very good against zerglings 
because they do do splash damage as well. So we have a very solid Ling Infester play from XHO right now. Um, they're two units that work very, very well together indeed, because usually things run away from this many Zerglings. If you fungal growth stuff, it can't run away. Uh, it's kind of common sense. It just allows it allows the lings to do their damage freely without stuff being able to run away, essentially. And of course, fungal growth does damage as well. And we do have an army heading out here from Fluffy Hippo, and it does look like we're going to see the first little bit of combat of the game. Uh, XHO might want to move these infestors round to the back of his army a little bit. Um, otherwise, these marines might pop through the bush and kill quite a lot of them. But we do have some marines scouting in here, and XHO is surely going to see this. So both the armies compositions. See, that's what I mean about the fungal growth. There we go. Group of dead marines that couldn't get away. <laughs> now we do have a lot of marines legging it as well. Uh, and it's not a bad idea to leg it from this many zerglings. Um, and again, more fungal growth as well. Ouch. That is a lot of marine death. A lot of marine death indeed. And this is suddenly looking very, very bad indeed for Fluffy Hippo. Um, it does actually look like it does look like XHO's Ling and Infestor play is really, really paying off for him right now. Um, I mean, he has lost a lot of Lings, but his Infestor count is still actually pretty high. If he utilised a Fungal Growth on one of these Infestors here, he could have... Uh, unfortunately, that Infestor had, like, full full energy, um, but his army could have got away whilst de dealing army uh, damage to Fluffy Hippo's army as well. And we do have three uh, weapons on the way for our turn as long as well as three armor but what else do we have that's right we have ultralisks yes look at that mouth kind of gobble there amazing we have ultralisks on the way for xho right now with the chitinous plating as well chitinous chitinous i don't know someone will yell at me probably for saying it wrong but it is on the way and we're happy about it and it also makes ultralisks basically very very difficult to kill indeed um, you really do need to find a unit that is very, very good at attacking armoured. Like the Protoss Immortal or something like that. You know, being able to take Ultras down with any sort of ease at all. And when I think... When I think... Uh, oh, we also do have a massive drop up here that's cleaned out quite a lot of XHO's base. And we do have a push coming through the middle as well um, for, from Fluffy Hippo that looks like it might be going in to attack some of his expansions. But of course, Fluffy Hippo do now does know that there are a lot of Ultralisks on the field for XHO. Um, this attack here does look like they'll be finding this hatchery that is building that surely, unfortunately, not get cancelled for XHO. Um, these Marines here are probably going to chew up these Zerglings. But there is a monstrous fungal growth that goes down, consuming the whole army, and therefore they cannot run away from the Ultralisks and get absolutely cleaned up in no time at all. On the other hand, we do have more Marines coming out for Fluffy, Fluffy Hippo right now, but he could do with some uh, vehicles in order to combat these Ultralisks, maybe a nice siege line or something like that. Um, both players on full base at this time as well get... and. Also, XHO getting the adrenal glands, which makes Zerglings really good, um, and getting the 3 plus weapons upgrade for Zerglings and Ultralisks as well. But at the moment, this is a very, very potent mix indeed. Um, this many Ultralisks is a very, very scary thing to be looking at if you are one of these little blue marines. Um, and here are quite a lot of links coming in as well. Um, there's a nice bundle growth going on on the uh, marines that are just at the bottom of the ramp there too. Um, and it does look like these Zerglings are actually just going to be running. Running a mock, actually, in Fluffy Hippo's base. And this is beginning to look really, really bad for Fluffy Hippo. I mean, XHO has really, really done very well here, indeed. And it does look like XHO has thoroughly got this game in his stride as well. And I mean, he is going to be heading up here and taking out this expansion too. I'm not sure how long this expansion of the Fortress will last against so many, so many, um, Ultralisks. I mean, obviously sometimes the problem with the Planetary Fortress attacking one can be the SCVs healing it, but with a couple of Fungal Groves, there are no SCVs to heal anything, and it does look like XHO is going to be going up here as well and discovering his opponent's fourth base, or third base in the order they've got it, I suppose. And then we do see the monstrous flash damage going down on the Zerglings. The Planetary Fortress being notoriously hard to actually take down at all. But, I mean, Ultralisks really, really do mess up quite a lot of people in the DPS area. Unfortunately, this Ultralisk absolutely biting the dust 
from this group of marines here that are supported very well from five medevacs. <coughs> and a very nice um, fungal growth going down as well, which again restricts movement, all of that good stuff. This is really, really a good kind of situation of how to win with infestors really oh but these infestors here do look like they'll be caught out of guards and unfortunately they'll all be cleared up as well with some nice micro as well um xho could end, end up losing all of these ultralists if he's not careful so he, he's obviously made the right decision by running away no not running away of course retreating but uh more ultralists to join forces here and we do have five more ultralists on the way as well um we do also have a queen that is popping some transfusers on these ultralists as well, but these marines really could do us some micro right now. Um, there we go, there is a little bit of micro. I was wondering when we were going to see that, because that was a very, very hard situation for an ultralist to be in. Um, but we do have just more ultralists joining the fight right now, so it does look like this attack will get cleared up by XHO and the Marines for a second they're actually moving in and there is one of those fatal fungal growths that restricts the movement of the Marines and does not allow them to um does not allow them to micro away anymore oh and Fluffy Hippo leaves without a GG damn hey uh, after losing losing both of his uh, expansions to XHO's Ultralisk and Zergling kind of build he leaves without a GG what a rotter but I mean XHO really did ver do very well with the um Infestor play there along with the Ultralisks as well. And I mean, Fluffy Hippo, by the end of it, I didn't really seem to be microing his Marines that well, <coughs> unfortunately. I mean, who am I to say? He'd probably beat me, kick the shit out of me um, if I played him. I hate, that's why we have players like XHO and players like Fluffy Hippo, so idiots like me can talk about them and have a lot of fun while doing it and hopefully entertain some people. That would be fun. Excellent. All right, guys, well, I hope you had a nice time watching. Um... Have a nice day, and as always, enjoy playing StarCraft. I will see you guys later.